Hello and welcome to this HOG4 tutorial which will show you how to set up your console to output ArtNet. In the last tutorial we looked at networks between multiple consoles and DP8000 processors which made use of the HOGNet Ethernet ports. In order to output ArtNet we must use the fixture net ports. This tutorial will take the basic example of a DL3 digital light being connected directly to the fixture net port of a HOG4 console using a CAT5 crossover cable. First of all, we need to configure the console's fixture net IP address to settings appropriate for the network. Press the setup key followed by the network soft key to open the network window. For larger networks, the fixture net settings for all consoles and DPs can be configured from this one window by selecting the appropriate DMX processor and pressing the settings button. In this example, we only have the one console on the network, so select the internal DP for the console, followed by settings. Select the fixture net tab. Here we can select to either obtain an IP address from an external DHCP server or use a static IP address. In this example, as a DHCP server is not present in our network, Enter a static IP address on the same subnet as the DL3. Press Apply and then select the ArtNet tab on the left. Here is where the ArtNet outputs can be configured. If we open the patch window by holding down the Open key and pressing the Fixture key, we can see that the DL3 has already been patched to Universe 3. Therefore, in the ArtNet panel of the DMX processor window, we must enable Universe 3 by pressing the Plus button. There is the option to either broadcast the ArtNet on Universe 3, or by unchecking the box, unicast the ArtNet by entering the IP address of the DL3 in this box. Keep the broadcast box selected if you may end up adding more fixtures to this universe, which will have different IP addresses. The subnet and universe boxes must match the settings on the DL3. For example, if on the DL3 you had set a subnet of 2 and a universe of 1, then match those settings here. Select the Changes Only box if you only want to transmit changes in ArtNet data to the DL3. To store these settings, click Apply, or to store them and immediately close the window, click OK. In the next tutorial, we shall look at methods of externally triggering the console, such as Open Sound Control and MIDI Show Control. Thank you for watching.